Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, this whole thing going on about the 2018-2019 uh, Mustang GT 5.0 with the, the tick typewriter barbecue tick. Um, I actually have a 2018 with 12,000 miles on it. So I'm gonna go pull over here. And mine ticks, it does. I haven't done an oil change on it yet because I just bought it like a week ago. But I'm gonna go do an oil change and I'll show you what oil to use. And some people that have used it say that it gets rid of it. So we're gonna drive over here, we'll let you listen to the car, and then I'll do an oil change on it probably this weekend. And I'll explain to you what the tick is and should you be worried. So here's the Mustang. That ticking that you hear, direct injection fuel pump, or you have your valves inside your intake. The barbecue tick that people are talking about is coming from down here. You'll hear it, it'll be like a tick 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 it's not like a barbecue like a barbecue lighter on a propane gas grill what's causing that it's gonna blow your mind the 5.0 has been doing that since 2011 and it's really no concern it's not doing anything to your engine. The reason you hear it more on the 2018 and 2019 Mustang GT is because these oil pans are plastic, I guess you could say plastic oil pans. I mean, I worked at Ford for six years. There's always a slight tick inside there. With these third gens, they, they put a different intake on them and it has valves inside that open and close for you know airflow. The oil pan is actually plastic and it emits more noise that you didn't hear before on the other ones. There's people with 2011 Mustangs that have 100,000 miles on them that tick. There's nothing wrong with it. Now, if you're hearing, because it's intermittent, it, it'll do it every now and then. It'll tick, 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 and then go away. Or you hear a knock, 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 and it'll go away. There's nothing to be concerned of. There's no malfunction in your engine. There's actually a TSB from Ford um, that I can actually look at at work. And I did look at it the other day. Uh, some customers complain of a typewriter barbecue tick. Ford calls it the typewriter tick. There's no dysfunction to the engine or, or whatsoever. It's not causing any harm. Same thing with the little slight knock that you'll hear every now and then. Some cases have reported that cylinder number one, which is the first one on the passenger side, they've had cylinder scoring. That may be a defect from the, the spray and cylinder liners that they use. Um, there's really, that's a totally different case right there. And a lot of people that are hating on this is people that don't even own these cars. Uh, like I said, I worked at Ford for six years. Mustang is one of my favorite cars. Never had any issues with them. Haven't had any issues with this one. You can kind of, I don't know if you can hear it, but it just ticks and goes away. Now, if you're getting a rod knock, that will increase with engine RPM. It'll get louder and louder and louder. If you got valve train rattle, anything like that, it's going to go with the RPMs when you rev up the engine. It's going to tick, 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 tick. It's not going to be an intermittent thing. Some, I see videos of some people putting Ceratec from Liquid Molly, which is good stuff. They put it in their engine, but they gotta do it like every oil change. Um, I told you the stuff that I use is Surma, and it actually coats the cylinder walls. Surma. It's not a it's not an additive, it's it's a treatment. And I was gonna read something to you off of this. They send you this really cool stuff. Um there's a treatment that you can get by itself. You put it in. I have another video where I put it in my F-150 with a 5.0 in it. Um you put it in there with the engine warm, you go drive around, you, I mean, you hold the throttle down for about 2K RPMs, and then you go drive around for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, and what it does is it has uh, silicon carbide coating 
into the middle and it fills in all those pits and valleys and it'll quiet your engine down. Um, so Serma STM3 motor oils are the next generation of lubricating oil which employs our sick run clean technology. All Serma motor oils and fluids can be used independently of any Serma treatment and will be best performing oils you can, you've ever used. So in other words, the oil has it in there itself. So this is a new car. It's, well, it's a 2018, it's new to me. It's got 12,600 miles on it. So probably tomorrow I'll do the oil change on it because I don't trust the recon department. And that's also another known case. These cars, Gen 3s, 2018 and up, they take 10 quarts of 5W20. Some people are running 5W30, but there's been known cases where they take it into the dealership for an oil change and it comes out two quarts low because they're used to the old engines where they take eight quarts. That's like the 2011 through 2014, the 2015, I think 16 and 17, uh, F-150 with the 5.0 takes 7.7 .7 quarts. The 2018s and 19s take 8.8. .8. The Mustangs took eight quarts, and now they bump that up to 10. Um, it's really no issue. Don't be concerned about it. Now, if you're hearing abnormal noises that you didn't hear before, like I mentioned earlier, a rod knock, or you know something up on top of the engine that goes with the RPMs and doesn't go away, then you wanna take that in and get that checked out. Uh, other than that, just keep notating every time you do an oil change. I recommend getting some of that Serma. That stuff is the best, it's sermastore.com. I run that in my F-150, and you could barely hear the tick after I did that. But I also treated that truck with, with the little two ounce bottle of treatment, and then I ran the oil. For the car, it only has 12,615 miles on it. So I'm not going to treat the car, I'm just gonna run the oil since the oil has it in there already. So with that being said, give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe. Just don't be afraid, don't worry about the engine tick, it's not harming your engine. It's it's actually at the back bottom of the engine. It's it's in the oil pan area. Ford knows about it. If it's a major issue, they're gonna call all the owners back and here, here's a fix for it. But as of right now, it's not harming your engine. Don't be worried about it. There's there's a TSB for it, and there it's it simply states no repair should be attempted to be made. And I'll put a copy of that TSB in the video so you can actually read it. Anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.